Mombasa is the largest city on the Kenyan coast and also the largest coastal port in East Africa. Traders have been coming here since at least the 12th century, and during its bloody history, Mombasa changed hands dozens of times between the Arab Swahilis, Portuguese, Omanis, and finally the British. Today, Mombasa is Kenya's second largest city, and it's one of Kenya's major tourist destinations, mainly due to the many monuments, beaches, and national parks. Mombasa is the principal port city. The town overlooks a large harbour where commercial shipping blend with long-established sailing dhows. The town offers a diverse marine life, world-class hotels and a friendly atmosphere. There is a tropical climate all year round and it's a great destination filled with activities for all ages. Episode 1 The 10 contestants meet at the Mobinet offices in Nairobi and meet each other and the buses for the first time. They get settled onto the modern coast bus and head to Mombasa. On arrival in coast, they are met by the host of the show who takes them to their new home where they'll be living together for the next five weeks. Once settled, the housemates get dressed and ready for their dinner date with the mayor of Mombasa at an outdoors restaurant where he welcomes them to coast with an authentic octopus seafood dinner. After dinner, the housemates experience their first night out clubbing in coast. Episode 2 Something fishy. After arriving back from partying, the housemates arrive home to find a card from the host reminding them that they have to be at Nyali Beach that morning by 7am for breakfast and instructions to their first challenge. After breakfast, they head to their first challenge on Pirates Beach where they need to assist in weaving fishing nets and gutting fish. Afterwards, they need to meet at Mamba Village to feed the hippos at 3pm sharp and the crocs at 5pm. They need to then make their way to meet the CEO of Mobinet on the Dow for dinner before 6pm. As they arrive at the restaurant, fashion expert Kaveki judges each person on what they are wearing. He teaches them about what to wear and what not to wear to coast for dinner. He then sends one person home. But that contestant watches as the Dow sails away with the remaining housemates. While the rest enjoy their meal, the losing person packs and we follow him or her on a modern coast bus back to Nairobi. The rest of the housemates make their way back to the house and get ready for a night out of town with fashion expert and CEO. Episode 3 Hard Work Pays Off Our remaining nine contestants jump aboard a ferry which takes them to the south coast of Mombasa to Marine Park. They are met by the host who along with a guide takes them around the park and shows them what the caretakers do. The host leaves them for the first challenge. Each supervisor has a duty at the park and the lucky contestants each get to draw which they'll be doing for the day. They spend a few hours cleaning and assisting while the supervisors monitor them. Later, they meet up with a chef from the south coast who teaches them about south coast delicacies. Each contestant must take home an ingredient that is unique to the south coast and together prepare a meal when they get home. The housemates can decide whether or not they would like to go out party. The alarm goes off at 5am the next morning and the housemates need to get dressed for their next challenge at the club, club cleanup. They meet the manager at the club and he introduces them to the CCO, the chief cleaning officer, who will monitor them and give them feedback on their cleaning performances. They spend the entire morning cleaning up the club, to be continued. Episode 4, Time Will Tell. After cleaning the club, the housemates arrive home. The housemates are now split into three teams, three people per team. They start off at Bumbalula workshops where they assist in making crafts. Once they are finished, they will get given a clue to the next location. They will head off to Old Town where they need to find clues which will take them through the town. They will get a clue from each shop as they go by. The first team to reach Fort Jesus wins a Sunset Cruise reward. The last team to arrive will have to do a do or die challenge. The last three must assist a courier by adding beads to a necklace. The last to finish is eliminated. Everyone heads off to the house to get ready for the beach. The housemates enjoy a relaxing traditional beach massage and fun in the sun. Episode 5 Mobinet Apprentice Contestants wake up in the morning and head off to Mombasa City at Mobinet offices, where they are broken up into two teams by a member of Mobinet. The teams work from the offices under supervision of a sales guy. The teams must plan a promotion activation event using materials from Mobinet. Trucks, music, free giveaways, credit cards and SIM cards. They have three hours to plan the event. The team that makes the most sales wins and the losing team has to attend a do or die Madafu challenge. 
The four members will have one hand cart, and each person needs to sell as many Madafus as possible. The person who sells the least amount is sent home. The rest of the members get ready for the night out in town while the losing housemate heads back to Nairobi. Episode 6 Double Surprise The seven contestants must pick one person who will sit out in the next challenge to make the teams even. That housemate gets the day off to scuba dive, snorkel, jet ski and shop. Each of the remaining six housemates is instructed to pack an overnight bag and meet the host at the Mombasa Tusks. The group must nominate two people from the house to go to the store and buy 15 food items for dinner but they only have 20 minutes. The two people are given money and told to buy things that the group would need to camp out for the day. The housemates are split into pairs and must use the basic map given, Samsung phone and tuk tuk to get their own way to the campsite. On arrival they find sleeping bags and tents. After a long night the teams meet with a host. The first team who arrived at the campsite on the previous day gets a reward. The pair must now choose either to spend a night in the hotel with room service, full spa treatment and buffet dinner or choose to let their housemates all enjoy one massage. The remaining four housemates head back to the house. When the two housemates return from the hotel, elimination begins. In tonight's episode, not one but two contestants go home. Each person is allowed to vote off two names. While the two pack their bags to leave the house, the remaining housemates get ready to party. As they head off to party, they drop their two housemates off at the Modern Coast bus station. Episode 7 Dress and Race The five housemates get woken up and have to clean the house and finish chores. They need to then meet the host at the Converse store where their first challenge awaits. They need to wear a Converse shirt or a cap and try to sell one item of clothing. The next challenge, the housemates are given a few lessons in go-kart racing. They then battle it out for the faster racer. The person who wins gets immunity. The winner from the last challenge has a choice to skip this challenge or try for immunity. The winning person's reward is a power medal, which they can use to save themselves from elimination if they choose to use it. After this, the team heads home and gets ready for dinner at a restaurant with a host and the Converse store owner. The elimination then takes place. One person is sent home and the final four continue to party the night away. Episode 8 Car Wash the final four contestants start their first challenge at Modern Coast head office in Mombasa City. Each person needs to wash a certain section of the Modern Coast bus. The cleaning supervisor will be monitoring their skills until he is satisfied. He will pick the contestant who he thinks has done the best job. The reward for the person who wins is two tickets for their loved one to come and visit them in Coast. The next challenge, the contestants meet at a well-known restaurant where they are paired. Each team will taste a Coast delicacy. One person will be blindfolded and the other teammate will be facing away from their member with a pen and paper. The teammate whose eyes are covered will have to taste the food and shout out what ingredients he or she thinks is in the meal. The second team member must make a list and collect all ingredients within 30 minutes at the market. On return, the team member who is blindfolded must instruct the shopper how to prepare the meal without actually assisting in the cooking. The team whose meal is closest to the delicacy will be part of the final three contestants. After the cook-off, they face elimination, but to their surprise, no one gets eliminated and they all go out partying. Episode 9 Riddle Me a Ride Early in the morning, the contestants are told to pack all their belongings and leave it at the entrance of their house. The four contestants meet the host in Mombasa City at 7am. They are given instructions and a riddle and must find their own way individually to Gomongo Village. There are 11 tribal themed huts set up. Each contestant must participate with preparation of food, local brew and traditional dancing for each tribe. The riddle that was given contains the immunity clue from one of the 11 tribes which is needed to be answered at the finish point. Once the contestants have finished with all tribes, they must head to the organizers of the village to receive their final destination clue which will lead them back to the modern coast offices. On their arrival, their bags will be waiting alongside the bus. As each person arrives, they must answer the riddle and stand behind their bag. Once everyone has reached, the person who gets the riddle wrong or who has arrived late will be leaving. The final three get to enjoy the night out and relax and party. Episode 10 Breaking the Sweat The final three contestants head to Pirate Beach where they must work as camel handlers and get 10 customers each. The camel must operate 10 times and double people don't count as one. Once completed, the camel handler will give them their next clue to the second challenge. 
Contestants must now sell as many MobiNet SIM card and credits on the beach within 30 minutes. Once completed, each contestant is given their final task. They will be heading to a children's home where each contestant must prepare something with a group of kids. They will be judged on creativity, how much the kids enjoyed the event and communication. They will be given 3000 bob and must decide what they will do with the kids. At the end of the evening, after the task is completed, elimination will take place and one person will be going home. This will leave the final two. The final two will be taken to a hotel to spend the night and the next morning enjoy a lovely breakfast. To be continued. Episode 11. Treat them like royalty. The final two contestants spend the night in the hotel and enjoy a lovely buffet breakfast. The next morning they are taken snorkeling in the beautiful coast seas. What they don't know is that that's where their first challenge starts. They need to boogie board back to shore, find their bicycles with instructions for their first task. The first task is a riddle which will lead them to men playing a board game with stones and holes. They must complete this game and once done the opponent will give them their next clue. This clue will take them to a Madafu tree, which they need to climb and collect their own Madafu. Once finished, their next clue will lead them to different ingredients they must collect while traveling on their bicycles through the market. They will end up at the beach bar where they will find their final riddle to make their tropical Madafu cocktail. Episode 12, The Reunion Show. All contestants from the past five weeks return to Mombasa to vote for the winner of Know Your City. They all talk about what happened in the past five weeks and learn about who voted them off and which alliances were formed. Flashbacks are shown in an episode where people badmouth each other. Secrets are revealed before voting. The housemates speak about who they'd like to win the prize and why. They all get to vote for the winner and the winner is revealed. Episode 13 Behind the Scenes the final show shows never been seen behind the scene footages of the past five weeks. 